Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, back with another video, and <laughs> this is going to be a funny one today because I'm going to have to set the record straight on the topic of realism versus gameplay once again. It feels like the hundredth millionth time that I've said this, and I can't believe I'm going to have to do it again, but with the next Battlefield game under heavy development and DICE possibly looking to innovate on it, possibly looking to reinvent the wheel once again, I want to make sure that I go on the record here and at least give my feedback and my thoughts about realism in Battlefield games in the hopes that DICE won't listen to these people on Reddit, which we're going to take a look at in a second. As always though, if you guys do enjoy the content here on the channel, hit up that subscribe button. We will of course be getting the stadium map soon. Following that, we'll be getting update 7.2 with the new jet, the Draugr, and then beyond that, well, who knows what we're going to be getting for Battlefield 2042, but we will of course be getting a new Battlefield game, most likely around 2025 or later, and I will certainly be covering all of the news, leaks, and anything surrounding that game here on this channel. So cheers guys, and thank you for your support. So, I saw something on Reddit yesterday which gave me great cause for concern, and this was a post that I thought wouldn't go anywhere. So this guy here says, friendly reminder, one of these bullets could shatter your chest. So I don't need to shoot this bullet seven times at the enemy, I know this game is not a simulation, but sometimes it can be very boring. So what this guy is essentially insinuating here is that he thinks you should be able to kill people in this game with like one or two bullets, and it sounds like he would prefer for Battlefield to be some sort of a hardcore milsim experience. Now I thought that this post wouldn't go anywhere, okay? When I looked at this it had like 10 upvotes. Fast forward to today, this post shockingly has 225 upvotes and 100 and 89 comments on it. Now, I'm not sure why he posted what appears to be a 50 caliber round here, because he obviously says that, why do I need to shoot people seven times, which you would think more like an SMG or an assault rifle at those sorts of ranges. You don't need to shoot people seven times with a 50 caliber round in Battlefield 2042 to kill them, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe he just Googled a picture of a bullet and stuck it on there. But if we come down to the comments section here, it gets even worse. The top upvoted comment here is a guy saying, or four Stinger missiles and five anti-tank rounds. So apparently this individual would prefer if one single Stinger missile just shot helicopters and jets out of the sky. That's it. Just one shot them, no chances whatsoever. And apparently the same with anti-tank rounds as well. He would just like for you to be able to RPG a tank once and that's it. They will be done for. And you guys can probably tell I'm getting a little bit annoyed by this post here because I've just had this argument, this discussion, so many times in so many comment sections of so many of my videos, you cannot believe it. So I've said this hundreds of times by now, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but Battlefield is an arcade shooter, has always been an arcade shooter, and will, hopefully, always be an arcade shooter. So apparently, this guy doesn't realize that you can't just go and change the TTK of the game to make everything a one-shot without upsetting the balance. If you want to have some sort of a realistic milsim type game where that is the case, well then you have to build the entire game around that principle, okay? You cannot just go and change it in Battlefield like people do with hardcore mode, and that is why, in my opinion, hardcore mode is just terrible. It simply doesn't work because the rest of the game isn't balanced around you being one shot by weaponry. And I'm going to give you a handful of examples of why this would be a terrible idea. Let's say that you can get one shot by a 556 by 45 round. Okay, fair enough. What are you going to do when you're staring down a Nightbird that has two miniguns churning out 762 ammo at you? And all he needs to do is for one of those single rounds to connect and you're dead. Are you still going to be happy with the game then? Are you still going to be happy with the balance then? No, I don't think so. What about somebody laying prone with an LMG that's spitting out 50 caliber rounds? Are you going to be happy when you get one shot by that as well? And then, of course, the question is, if you want to have a realism in terms of ballistics and you want aircraft to be one shot by a stinger or any kind of man pad, then surely it's fair that we have jets dropping cluster bombs and JDAMs and white phosphorus and God knows what else that completely destroys all of the infantry on the ground in one foul swoop. 
you know, where is this realism argument going to end? You really don't have to think much further than that. And if this guy would have used a couple of brain cells to even consider this, then I'm sure he'd come to his senses. Well, who am I kidding? This is Reddit. In my opinion, I will always advocate for gameplay over realism. Now, if we can have both, if we can have a realistic mechanic in the game that doesn't negatively impact the gameplay, absolutely fantastic. I have nothing against realism per se, I'm just not prepared to take that and sacrifice the gameplay for it. As the old saying goes, a game for everyone is a game for no one, and we really, in my opinion at least, don't want to see Battlefield going down the route of being a more hardcore shooter. And especially when we've just seen DICE try to cater the most recent entry into the franchise to a more casual audience, a larger audience. They try to widen the appeal of the Battlefield game. And of course, it completely backfired and the core Battlefield fan base absolutely hated it. So the last thing we need is DICE going and trying to reinvent the wheel again and going to the other end of the scale and trying to cater the game to more milsim type people. And it's not like there's a lack of hardcore military milsim type games to play, right? There's armor, there's squad, there's Verdun, there's the new Grey Zone Warfare that I recently covered, there's Tarkov, Isonzo, all these World War ones, there's Ready or Not, Insurgency. Like, there are so many games that you can go and play if you want that kind of an experience. Don't turn Battlefield into it. That's not what Battlefield is, mate. And to be clear here, I do like some of these games that I just listed. I'm currently playing Grey Zone Warfare and I'm having an absolute blast, but it's not Battlefield. And like I said at the start of this video, I'm, I'm almost still in shock that I even have to say this. Like, by all means, guys, leave me your thoughts down below in the comments section. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? That's absolutely fine as well. Judging by the amount of upvotes on this guy's Reddit post, apparently, there are a bunch of people who agree with this guy. I don't think they really thought it through about how this would change the game, but they seem to agree with him nonetheless. But in my opinion, what the next Battlefield title needs is a return to the core principles of Battlefield, a return to the roots. I'm not saying they can't try anything new or innovate at all. I don't think we want to see just like a complete remake. But at the same time, they need to be very cautious. They can't be trying anything too risky like they did with Battlefield 2042 because it's just going to go over badly. And if the rumors are true, it sounds like they are going to play it safe with this one. They're going back to 64 players. They're going for destruction. They're going back to the class system. Let's just hope they don't make it a milsim, eh? Guys, thank you ever so much for watching the video today. Leave me all of your comments and thoughts down below. I would be very interested to hear what you guys think on this. What is your take on this situation? What do you want to see from the next Battlefield game? Leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more Battlefield. And I will see you guys in the next one.